EntoML is a Python open source library that enables users to create a machine learning powered prediction service in minutes. In the previous videos, we learned how to create an API service with BentoML in the debug mode. So, after making sure that everything looks good, we can start putting the model service and dependencies into a Bento. To be Bentos, let's start with creating a file named bentofile.yam in your project directory. Service tells BentoML the location of the file that we will use to create a service. In this case, is source bentoml.py using the object service. Include tells BentoML that we want to include the file source bento ml.py in our bento and we also want bento ml to use these packages for the service okay now that we have the configuration file created let's create a bento to build bentos run bento ml build so the bento has been built and it is saved at Bento ML Bento's customer segmentation k-means with this tab. Let's check it out and see how it looks like. So we can see that all of these directories and files are created after running the Bento ML build command. So let's take a quick look at this directory and see how it looks like. APIs contain the configuration file for API. Environment specifies some configuration for your environment since we don't use Conda, it's empty. Docker contains some files to build a Docker container. Python uses the requirements we specified previously to create requirements.txt. Models have the pickle file of all the files that we've saved previously. And if we click in model.yam, we can see more information about that model. So I just save the source code that we want Bento ML to include. Bento ML.yam show the information about our current Bentos. It's pretty cool how we can create all of these files using only one command. That's it about building a Bento. In the next video, we will learn how to containerize the Bento and deploy it to Heroku.